Welcome back. Let's take a look at what I messed up last time. And then we'll get started. This live stream is going to be brief. Hopefully, maybe we'll only have time for two games. We'll see. Um, all right, so here I played one of these moves. The other one is the correct answer. After the game, uh, I consulted an engine to see what I had messed up this game. The engine pointed out this tactic, which I didn't think was important, but in the... Oh. <laughs> I actually played this during the game, too. I prevaricated a bit, toggling back and forth between, well, this is the only way I can break into the position, but I can also promote the rook this other way, but... No, this is actually correct. It's even. Silver 4-1, if it worked, would be a great move, but it just gives the opponent a piece, and I don't have four pieces attacking. So, yeah, this is how I gain a piece to fuel my attack while my opponent's also attacking. It's kind of complicated, but it's important to get the details right. Anyway, that's going to be an omen for how today's going to go, so let's see... We we're going to play some 10 minute games. Sorry, I forgot to preload this in advance. Usually, well, I'm sorry, I can't get the puzzles if I do preload that in advance. Anyway, here we go. This will be good fun, right? <laughs> Got to get the blunder out of the way before the games. Now, there's a thought. Yeah, starting with a puzzle might not be the worst thing to do. Yeah, we just have to play all the right moves now. That's a good point. All right, here we go. Good luck. Fourth file rook, they say. Oh, right. <laughs> They're Senta. You know... Oh, okay. Let's see how that goes. This time I remembered to push the pawn before they stopped me from doing it. Alright. Uh, let's bring the silver out. Try to protect some pawns. Ikenbisha. First file rook. Yeah. Despite being in the ninth file. Yeah, I was about to ask. That's on my first file. And traditionally, this is the way the board is numbered from Gota's perspective is 1 through 9. And if you were to have the board the other way, you'd file number the files 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is actually like the first file rook. Okay, that's ridiculous, sir. That... I'm not going to dignify that with a response. Okay, it was a mouse slip, I guess. Um. <laughs> well, if we exchange rooks, I don't have to worry about where to place my rook. Or where to position it. Um. Actually, it's really easy to figure out where to position the rook, isn't it? There's one particularly good square for it. I think we all know what it is. This isn't like when you exchange bishops early in the game, and oh my god, the bishop could drop anywhere and anything could happen. Rooks are... Thanks for the game. You could take the rook back. Okay, never mind. Alright. The winning streak begins. Good luck. Primitive climbing silver. 
All right, we're gonna play primitive climbing silver against somebody who's special at like if I can remember how to play it, we're gonna play it. Ooh, that's a shape. That's a thing. An effect. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> that was short-lived. This is a good attempt. Alright, my bishop's on a decent diagonal. Mm-hmm. Let's have some fun. Oh, this is primitive climbing silver. Oh, now we know. <laughs> Wait, so then like you put the silver in front of the rook, right? That That's how it works. I don't know. Um... Maybe bring this out, just for fun. Okay. And we, like, defend this or something. Right. Okay. Let's defend this point. They're going to reinforce the attack. I am so one move behind on this. That's not good. All right, here we go. Getting stomped by our compatriot 1Q. It's fine. But now we know. This is how you play primitive climbing silver. Maybe. Um, gotta take it. Takes, 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 drop, takes. All right, so. Hmm. <laughs> well. It's not the end of the world. No, actually, this is pretty bad. Um. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to exchange silvers and maybe not move the king that way. Yeah, this is pathetic on my part. Um, all right, I get to attack, right? <laughs> okay, well, they stopped me from playing primitive climbing silver, but I still got to push a pawn and deal some damage. Okay, that was not on my list of expected moves. Um, Nanafun. play a cowardly move just for fun. Oh, yes, now they stop my bishop drop. Hmm. It's like they've seen my ideas before. You would be right to ask what ideas I'm even referring to. All right. Well...
This could be pretty bad. Mm hmm They had a silver, which I forgot about. Hmm. My position sucks. All right, so... Back we go. We're not going to block the rook. If silver takes this point, oh, I probably should take over here. And I'm pro well, okay, my bishop can fight off against this rook. Mm -hmm. But still, this is abysmal. So that discourages this pawn advance. Because now I win a free pawn. But there's probably a tactic somewhere that ruins my day. Let's see it. Where's the tactic? The day ruining tactic. There it is. Um. All right, we well, only started an attack. Let's continue it. Mm, yeah, let's make room for my bishop. Maybe not immediately hang my rook. We'll wait a turn or two before finding a way to hang it. Have to leave the audience in suspense for a little bit. Um... Oh yeah, forgot about that. That's cool. Oh! <laughs> okay. Well, this just got exciting now. Uh, yeah. Instead of this being Gofun. one player having a very one-sided attack, now it's two players having an attack. This is exciting. Now we're talking. Alright. Um, granted... My king looks extremely cooked here. But, you know, maybe if we're creative we can find a way out of this, right? This is still looking terrible. Okay. I threaten... it's not mate. They threaten threats, but none of which are mate. Uh, shit, what do we do? Other than crap our pants. Yeah, once we've done that, what next?
This is so messy. Okay, take a shot in the dark. Maybe this works. Probably not. But what if it did work? Wouldn't that be great? Sampun. Here goes nothing. Literally, I do not understand this position. Like, I'm threatening, if I can, a bishop drop, force them to block, and then my dragon proceeds behind their king. But that's not mate without a silver or some sort of diagonal moving piece. Possibly the bishop wasn't the right piece to start this attack with. Hmm, right. That's how you reinforce an attack. Okay, instead of offering uh, one piece for two pieces, now I'm offering two for three. Alright, looks like we got the two for three deal. Granted, they don't have to take the rook. They do take the rook, however, so they can proceed without loss of time. Um, the challenge they encounter because they've done that is that, oh, that's not check. Um, Nifun. I've got two bishops. So they'd like to approach my king from multiple directions. That doesn't seem trivial for them to do that. Check.
think we got it. That's sweet. Two down, one to go. Good luck. A double swinging Rook player. This should be exciting. I wimped out a third foul Rook. This thing always spooks me. Interesting. Let's get my king stashed away here. Oh. Okay, point taken. Well, if you can do that, I can do it. But I'm going to crash to the center, because that's where your king is. So I spent three Tempe moving the king over here to try to protect it. Actually, four with this silver, so... I've lost Santa plus three turns to get this set up. Um, is it worth it? No, it's not worth it. Don't try this at home. Um, all right. Let's play the cards we're dealt. Sure, you can have the rook. What's a rook gonna do? Let's find out. Hey look, there's a fork. Gosh! Ah, well, I can block the fork. <laughs> That, I thought this was going to play out very differently with the bishop drop here, and I was all excited about it. And, like, all my dreams are now ruined. Because I attacked before defending, and look what happened. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, what have we learned? I don't know. Shogi's exciting. Yeah, what can I do with the rook? I mean, if they take either of my two bishops and then drop the bishop on the wrong diagonal somewhere, maybe I've got a rook forking a couple things and, like, karma's all reversed. But I totally deserved this rook drop. Because I asked the question, what are they going to do with the rook? Well, yeah, they attack this gold. It's not defended. I mean, I could have gone nuts and taken this lance right away, and then tried taking the knight, and watch them take all four of my pieces as I try to mop this up, but that's not going to happen. This rook's going to run away, and they'll keep their gold and their silver while I just get a lance and a knight. So yeah, we have to do this rather sad uh, drop. That said, in the opening, like, Sometimes a bishop's pretty nice, so I hope I've... Okay, yeah, the game's still live. We haven't hit a network split or something like that. Um, interesting. Hmm. I mean, that could get quite severe in a hurry. Um, takes, rook takes, there's not much I can do there. 
All right, let's just take a lance and assume that's the best we got. They're trying to find a way to gain a bishop and then do a bishop fork. That's what this is about. So now all of my pieces are loose, just for maximum excitement. Aim at the king's ears is our random proverb. Well, they kind of have this decently well defended, but that does sound like a focal point to aim for. Um... Alright. I accept whatever the hell this is, because I don't have better. Um, thankfully, this isn't quite as terrible as I thought it was going to be, because I could actually attack this rook um, so they don't get all three of my generals. I didn't see that I just hung my bishop until I did it, but I think I survived this, so yay. Um... All right, so let's try to survive this. I haven't worked out all the details because there are so many pieces hanging. But, um... I think a pawn is actually best here. I don't know. Oh, let's drop the lance. So now I'm threatening to try to rip this open. I would have preferred to drop the lance on the center file, but that comes with the loss of time we can't afford. So, here we go. Mm -hmm. I'll take the rook. Try to pile everything on their king before it's too late. Oh, it's too late. Cool. Um, Nanafun. Well, okay, I defend my gold general. Okay, from here, my bishop oversees the entire board. Next up, pawn drop, pawn promotes, hits the bishop. 
What does their bishop do? Nothing. Yeah, I don't feel like helping them put their gold next to their king. So we're going to attack over here now. Maybe I could have taken it and should have taken it and then dropped the rook and I didn't see what happened next. But maybe that was an idea. Um, oh, right. Well, they don't have a bishop to attack with. Um, let's just put my castle back together and try not to die. Now I even have a pawn drop up here and then a rook drop. No, because the gold moves sideways. It doesn't have to take the pawn. Be nice if it had to take, but it doesn't. But yeah, my bishop oversees the entire board, which is pretty nice. We both prematurely started attacking, I guess. Yeah, that's sensible. It's wrong, but it's sensible. Maybe it is best, though, because now I've dropped my rook, whereas otherwise I might not have. But the only way to hold this together is to retreat the bishop back where it came from. The, the silver is actually going to play a decent role in trying to reconstruct this castle, so... It's not trivial. What is in my favor is the time situation. So we say no to this silver coming this way, which now means I can drop a pawn and push it. Um, they're going to do something to resist. Oh, there we go. There's the resisting move. So this bishop is thoroughly encased by its teammates. Maybe I should have taken this with my bishop or my rook. No, I don't want to expose their bishop. Their bishop sucks. I don't want it exposed. My horse is awesome, their bishop is not as awesome. This is still a weakness. I could still drop a knight and take it. And now the king has not as many places to run to. Um... Yeah, taking this pawn, who cares? This pawn might matter. This pawn advance might be useful. I don't know why I moved back here. Oh, well, their rook is surrounded, but it's starting to take here. Um, hmm. Go Okay. 
What's the next move? All right. What's the next next move? All right, and then I've moved my rook in front of my own pawns, so I know how painful this can be. I've been there. Thanks for the game. All right, by my count, that's three games. I don't have time for another. I'm sorry. So we're going to conclude things there. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.